Welcome. This is a series of videos I put together that I hope help you with making reads. I'm Terry Ewell. I'm glad that you're watching these five videos I've made for you. There are many people that are far more expert in read making than I am, but the methods I show here have served me well for 30 years and I'm hopeful that they'll help you as well. Uh, you're going to notice in the videos that I do not advocate certain equipment. Uh, this is to avoid commercialism. I've placed some blue masking tape over names so that uh, I'm not advertising certain equipment. Thank you for watching and let's get started. I begin by soaking the tubes of cane in warm water for about 20 minutes. Then I inspect the tube of cane. This tube has got some insect damage. So I'm going to discard it. This tube looks okay, but the ends curve a bit. So I will need to cut those off. I examine the tube with a uh, curved metal gauge. Uh, let's look at this end. I'm looking for the portion with the closest symmetry. Symmetry is very important for the finished read. I then split the uh, tube uh, into four pieces using a cane splitter. You can use a knife for this, but I'm fortunate to have the splitter. Each section of cane then is examined for uh, straightness. I look at the grain and again you can see the curved portions here. So the straightest part of the cane for, is going to be in this area. Then cut the cane with a reed guillotine. This piece of cane is pretty straight, curves just a little bit. Next I place the cane in the bed of the gouger. I pay attention to how the, uh, the knife moves through the cane. This cane is uh, gouging very nicely, nice and even, even consistency. Uh, this particular uh, piece of cane is not that hard, so I will make a note of that.
The gouger I use creates an eccentric shape. The gouge is thinner at the sides than it is in the center. Concentric gouges, such as this one, have the same thickness of cane over the whole gouge. Some reed makers then further adjust the reed by scraping the inside of the blade. If you are interested, in, I recommend that you read the Bassoon Reed Manual, Lou Skinner's Theories and Techniques by James R. Mackay. Gerald Corey gave an outstanding lecture on scraping the interior of the reed blade years ago. The lecture was at the 1997 IDRS conference and was titled, Many Varieties of Tone and Playing Characteristics in Your Bassoon Reed Box. Corey demonstrated wide variations of tone and response due to the different gouges made by hand. I haven't worked with these, but I'm intrigued by the results. The center thickness of the gouged cane should be between 47 thousandths of an inch, that is 0 0.012 centimeters, and 55 thousandths of an inch, that is 0 0.14. This one is right around 55. The thinner the gouge, the more dense and hard the cane. The cane nearest the bark is the hardest. I mark each piece of cane with a pencil so that the siblings, that is the pieces of cane from the same tube, are identified. I also note the density of the cane, whether the cane was hard or easy to gouge. I write this information in a notebook when I number each piece of cane. If you're drying your cane at this point, make certain that the cane dries completely, not in full contact with other pieces of cane. Not like that. Be sure to separate them. God bless you. Thank you for watching this video.